My name is Lily Cole, and I'm proud to be backing the Environmental Justice Foundation's efforts to celebrate the most forward-thinking actions to tackle climate change. In this case, a model supply chain for the fashion industry. For the past four years, I've supported the Environmental Justice Foundation, which tackles some of the root causes of environmental and human rights abuses around the world. In December 2010, I went to Gujarat and Tirupur in India to see for myself what goes into making one of EJF's climate neutral t-shirts. Through EJF, I've learned that the process of making something as simple as a t-shirt is in fact incredibly complex and presents many issues. From the ecological and humanitarian implications of non-organic cotton farming to the amount of energy required to drive the numerous factories involved in turning a cotton ball into a t-shirt. In the exemplary factory that we visited, it was really exciting to see this streamlined machinery and know that somewhere not very far away there's a whole host of wind turbines that are quietly creating a sustainable source of energy for this production. I was very impressed by the way this factory go about their dyeing process. They clean and recycle 90% of their water and have been doing so since they opened 12 years ago. The huge vats of bubbling waste product were disgusting and it's terrifying to think that in other places this could end up in a local river like the one we could see over the horizon. Instead, using an eight-stage process, the black dye waste was turned into clean water, which I actually dared to drink. The water goes back into the system and the process starts again, with only 10% loss due to evaporation. From beginning to end, this production line has taken its carbon footprint back to pre-industrial levels and shown that it is economically viable to do so. I really believe all industries, within fashion and beyond, have a responsibility to consciously and actively reduce their carbon footprint and the negative effects of production. This way, industrial measures of production can evolve to coexist with our ecology and become sustainable. Besides the fundamental importance of protecting our planet's future, it makes economical sense too. We need this long-term vision. Mm -hmm.